Small design studios are doubling their output and their business is increasing. How? It's not about working overtime. It's not about hiring more designers. Instead, they're embracing the AI advantage. Today, we're diving into how generative AI isn't just changing the game, it's creating an entirely new playing field for small businesses. Let's get something straight. AI isn't replacing humans. AI is becoming the ultimate business partner. One that never sleeps, never complains, and keeps getting better. Think of it as having a team of super-powered interns who get give consistent quality work. The real disruption isn't in the technology itself, it's in how it's leveling the playing field between small businesses and corporate giants. When a one-person marketing agency can produce content at scale of a full department, something fundamental has shifted. What's fascinating about generative AI is how it's creating what I call capability leapfrogging. Small businesses aren't just catching up, they're jumping ahead. A local copywriter can now produce content in multiple languages. A solo graphic designer can generate variations at scale. A small accounting firm can offer insights that previously required a team of analysts. Here's where it gets interesting. We're seeing a split in the small business world. On one side, we have the AI embracers, businesses that are integrating these tools into their workflow and fundamentally reimagining what's possible. On the other, we have the wait and sees, those who risk falling behind while they wait for the perfect moment to jump in. The most dramatic changes are happening in what I call a creative intersection, where human creativity meets AI capability. Small marketing agencies are using AI to generate initial concepts, leaving humans to refine and perfect. Web developers are using AI to code basic functions, focusing their time on complex problems. Designers are using AI to explore countless variations and then applying their expertise to select and enhance the best ones. Now here's something counterintuitive. The businesses seeing the biggest gains aren't the ones using AI to cut costs. They're the ones using it to increase value. They're not asking, how can AI make this cheaper? They're asking, how can AI make this better? AI is changing the nature of competitive advantage. It's no longer about who has the most resources. It's about who can best leverage the available tools. A clever small business owner with the right AI stack can now compete with corporations that have hundreds of employees. Here's the plot twist. As AI gets better at handling routine tasks, uniquely human skills become more valuable, not less. Empathy, creativity, strategic thinking, relationships, building, these become your true differentiators. The tools that were once exclusive to large corporations with massive budgets are now accessible to anyone with an internet connection. This isn't just interruption, it's the democratization of business capabilities. You know what fascinates me most about this AI revolution? It's not the technology, it's not even the capabilities, it's the deep questions it forces us to ask about ourselves. When a machine can do something in seconds that used to take hours, we have to ask ourselves, what could we be doing with all that reclaimed time? The real question isn't whether AI will change your business, it's whether you'll use that change to become more human or less. Will you use AI to hide behind automation or will you use it to create more meaningful connections with your customers? Every business revolution has its early adopters and its skeptics, but this one's different because this time waiting on the sidelines isn't just missing an opportunity, it's choosing to play a game with one hand tied behind your back. The calculator didn't replace mathematicians, it created a more of them. Similarly, AI won't replace small businesses. It will transform them in ways we haven't even imagined yet. And let's take a moment to reiterate for those who think AI is a solution to everything. It's a tool to enhance what we do, not eliminate the need for us. And just because AI can handle tasks like writing ad copy, generating images, or drafting emails, it doesn't mean we should skip the human touch. Every piece of work, whether it's content or design or communication, deserves to be reviewed and refined by not just one person, but a team. After all, nothing is perfect, and that's where our creativity and oversight comes in. I'm curious, how are you planning to use AI in your business? Not just to automate, but to innovate. Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're fascinated about how technology is reshaping small business opportunities, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Every week, we explore new ways entrepreneurs are rewriting the rules of business. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.